So, <laughs> you are so funny. Ooh. So, I wanted to come on really quick and share with you guys a little update on Evelyn. I've been posting on Instagram and our Facebook page that she is going to be going on Friday to get um, a little bit of a surgery done on her finger. And I've been updating a lot of people more on Instagram and stuff like that to share a lot of that. I don't, I don't know how much I shared on my videos that... For the last year, we've been trying to go through oh, therapy and different guys, things because... Oh, I'm going to die Okay, hold on. Can we show everybody your thumb? No, Come here. Let me see. All right. So, with Evelyn, she has a trigger finger, trigger thumb, and we've been trying to fix that for the last year, and we came kind of a long way for, with it and trying to get it fixed and doing a lot of therapy and stuff like guys. that. Yeah. So, um, I brought her in just the other day to see the specialist after being done with most of her therapy and stuff like that. And pretty much all the things that we were doing was working just fine, fine with like stretches and splints and all of that kind of stuff. But with how, if anybody knows how trigger finger is, there's a bottom tendon that gets kind of like bound up underneath a tendon or like before the tendon and it can't like release, it can't like go back the right way. So it's kind of like a pulley system and it can't like fix itself. So we are going to go on Friday. So we went in yesterday, which is, um, today's Wednesday. We went in yesterday. Um, and we were supposed to possibly go in on another day to have it done um, right before Christmas. And that isn't going to happen because they ended up calling me a little bit earlier and saying, hey, can we get her in on Friday? So I ended up having to, or they ended up scheduling her for like a COVID test today. So we went and did that and that went well. <laughs> We, that went well. Um, she kind of cried just for a little bit, and then we got some treats after. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, we. Yeah, we did get some treats, didn't we? All my laundry. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Um, so it is Wednesday, and we're going to wait to see what her results are going to be for her testing. And then on Friday... I don't find out the time of her appointment until tomorrow um, because of how they schedule. So, yeah. But Friday for sure she's getting it done. And then unless uh, her COVID test comes back positive, which none of us are sick in the house, so I can't see that that's going to happen. Um, and then Friday morning I will drive to the area that we need to go. It's just like about a half an hour or so away. And... Um, it, I guess it's not like a long surgery or anything like that and it's kind of quick and then we're kind of they're gonna determine if they need to put just like a band-aid bandage on it oh, you got your lip gloss and um, or if they're gonna put a mitt on her because she's the type of kid that will pull anything off anyways um, so we did a lot of splinting at nighttime while she was sleeping so she couldn't do that but I'm hoping they do do a mitt so that um, she we can keep it clean that way. Um, but I guess the recovery time for, um, for it is really quick and she'll be fine. Um, just because we've been dealing with it for a year now. If you guys um, watched my Thanksgiving video from last year, if I remember, I'll leave a link up above. And um, you guys can go check out because it was kind of like a crazy day and a last minute thing not knowing what was wrong with her finger and we didn't find out for like a little ways at a couple days or so after that it was trigger yeah. thumb and then we did a lot of therapy and different stuff for it so it's not really like a big deal or like causing her pain or causing her to like not be able to do anything she can do a lot with it nothing like holds her back it's on her left hand so it's not even on her right what she uses the most and um so I'm kind of glad that it's going to be done. If we would have did it closer to Christmas, that would have been kind of sad because then with opening presents and stuff like that kind of makes it a little tricky for her. And then, you know, with her being maybe in pain with it, I don't know. I don't want her to be all uncomfortable for 
Christmas. So I'm glad it's gonna be done, but I'm gonna share this with you and then I'll do a little video maybe on Friday. And then um, maybe I'll just tie this whole video yeah. together and you guys can uh, just see it all in one yeah. video instead yeah, of trying to, yep, trying to do, oh, you know, a bunch of videos for you guys, but. Mmm. <laughs> yummy? That is yummy. Okay. That smells good too. Ew. Ew, it smells good. Oh, yeah. No. It's not yucky. It smells good. Then why are you putting it on your lips? Uh, <laughs> it is? Uh oh. Mine. No, it's Miles's. It's Go mine. give it. No, that's Miles's. Give it back. No. No. I think, no. I think you should. No. 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 Ah. <laughs> Oh boy. And then I'll put the button. No, don't push the button. Yeah. No, you'll shut it off. Get back okay, so we just got to the hospital just a little while ago and we have Evelyn's gown on her right now and we are gonna be waiting for them to come in and um, take her and then they're gonna do like um, the anesthesia stuff like out. So they're gonna be coming in in a couple minutes so I gotta put my mask on. Around. <laughs> so we're just waiting for everybody to come in. The anesthesia, um, the anesthesiologist, he'll be coming in a little bit. And they already did all their questions and stuff right now. So, um, just have to see. Right? She's got her cute gown. Do you want to show everybody your little cow? You got a cow. Yeah, are you showing everybody your teeth? <laughs> See, it was so early for us. Too early for us to get get here. Right? It was dark all the way here. Mm. Okay, so I'll come back on after um, she's done with surgery and stuff like that. And see how she's doing she'll probably be totally out of it because they have to do all that good stuff I'm saying it's not good stuff no <laughs> all right so we'll see how she does after and then um we still have to drive home after two and driving home is going to be where i'm going to be more worried about like her getting sick from um, having the anesthesia. So I have extra stuff packed just in case uh, she ends up getting sick in the car, but I have everything ready and prepared for that. So, um, but we'll see how this goes. I'm sure she's gonna be kind of sad because she doesn't usually go anywhere without me and they're gonna take her back. I don't think without anything and they're gonna just give her um, the stuff when she gets back there. So they have to give her like the sleeping medicine and stuff back there. And I remember when my other kids had stuff done, they did it before they left the room so that they weren't so nervous. You wanna go up there now? That's doctor's chair. That's the doctor's chair. Oh. You come over here. Oh. Why don't you put your cow on the bed? Okay. Should we wrap them up? Hey. Hey. Oh. Cow, 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 cow. There we go. Oh, it's I'll put that up. You're going to put them up? He's gonna fall down. He's gonna get smushed. I'm 
Okay, you're gonna put them down. Do you know what button it is? Yeah. Yep. Going down. Mm hmm. Okay, so I have to keep my mask on just because of her. Oh, hold on, they're gonna be coming in. Okay, so they just came in and gave her popsicle. She's doing a little bit better now that they took the IV out, but yeah, I'll try to talk to you like this for a little bit. But um, so they had like monitors and stuff on her toes, and they took that off because she completely screamed and threw a fit. And yes, you got some on your toes. And uh, she started ripping off her bandage and everything. So she's got a full mitt on there, but she keeps trying to tear it off. But you have popsicles now and Paw Patrol. So we are able to leave anytime. So she just got done and we're gonna just do like checkout stuff. And then um, she has um, to see if she could okay after we get her dress and popsicle and stuff like that and drinking. And then uh, we can leave, but we have to drive home and it's like 35 miles. 35 or so minutes and I'm just afraid that she's gonna get sick from the anesthesia and stuff So we're just gonna watch her just for a little tiny bit and then we'll head home, right? You want to go home? Yeah Okay, so um But they said everything is good. So now it's just more or less keeping the bandage on her so she doesn't tear it off They took the IVO because she kept pulling on it ended up pulling the kind of they had it all taped down and everything She pulled the board off but that's Avalon, right? That's you. Yeah. So, so far we're doing good, but we're going to be heading out pretty soon and I can maybe talk to you guys more as we're driving because I can do that now. So, because I got some things in the van now that I can use. Yeah. All right. Um, so, we're going to see how she does right now and then um, see how she's doing on the drive home and then when we get home we'll just try to keep it quiet for the day and they're gonna see how much medicine that she can have for pain medicine and it's usually just gonna be Tylenol and ibuprofen he said but we're gonna get discharge papers in a little tiny bit and then we're gonna probably head out pretty soon so I just got to make sure that she's feeling okay before we go because I don't want her to get sick so we're gonna get her pajamas back on you want your pajamas back on yeah okay so um, she already tore off her like her socks and everything because they had that little oxygen thing on her toes um, So we got to get everything back on but this is making her happy And it's just gonna be more at home when she's gonna want to try to do something She's very independent and likes to do everything on her own and now she can so because her hand has to stay wrapped She's not able to do anything anymore, and that's gonna really bug her uh, but at least it's not her right hand um, so we're really gonna have to help her out and do that but I'm sure she'll have plenty of helpers at home that are waiting for her right now we did uh, FaceTime before with the kids at home and um, they were all happy to see her and they saw her before she went in and they saw her um, or I talked to them after so uh, we're gonna get going here pretty soon and then I will talk to you on the way home and then when we get home I'll talk to you guys and see how she's doing but um, other than that we'll see how it goes right yeah. Okay. So we are on our way home. Evelyn is doing okay. And we just have to make sure she drinks today and then has like popsicles and jello and stuff like that. So you can tell that she's doing good, right, Evelyn? Yeah. Um, so I think the majority of our issue is really going to be keeping her hand dry and not getting it messy so she has to have it checked on December 29th and then um, she if there's any problems before that then we have a place nearby that she can get checked and then if she were to happen to get like um, her hands all wet or the glove wet and stuff like that then they have an area there that um, can go in and they can like redo everything so right now she should be okay um evelyn do you want something to eat okay so i'm probably gonna pull over and get her some
something to eat and see how she does with that. And then I'm gonna head home because we have about like 20 some miles to go yet to get home. And let's see how the rest of the day goes with her. But otherwise I'm happy it's finally done. And because it's been about a year trying to do therapy and stuff with her in hopes that we will um, fix it and we did a lot that we could do and prepared us for all that kind of stuff but it just wasn't doing what needed to be done so now she's all fixed he actually showed me a video after it was done that he took of it and and the movement and everything of it so everything looks good um but we just have to make sure you know after that it heals and stuff like that that she's doing okay so i'm really excited about that but we are gonna go get some food quick i'm just gonna go through the drive through and get her something and probably sit off to the side a little bit just to make sure that she's doing okay because i don't want to like drive and then something happens so i'm gonna go do that quick and then maybe i'll come back on and i can talk a little bit more with you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, we are almost home. I stopped off, like I said before, to go get her some food and she did really good with that. Um, I even sat there for a good like 25, 30 minutes or so to really make sure that she was doing okay before we headed home. Um, so she only napped for maybe like 10 or so minutes after surgery so far. Um, and surgery was at 8.30 and it's 12.30 now. So she only had that little bit of a nap. So I'm hoping that when I get home and after the kids like see her and give her attention and stuff, that I'm able to like lay down with her and maybe give her a nap depending on how she was feeling. I know most of the times like some of my other kids after they had like anesthesia and stuff like that they were just kind of like tired for the rest of the day and just kind of down and out um, but she seems to be pretty good so far so we'll see how she does uh, with this but for right now I just want her to kind of rest and from there so I'm sure I'm going to I'll probably um, share this video with you as of like what happened um, when I originally talked to you guys just the other day and then just today what all happened and then I'll probably do like another updated video if anything goes on or how she's progressing with it the problem is is with me not being able, being able to see it until like after this month or almost at the end of the month I'm not really going to be able to see what it looks like to really give like an overall like you know just to see but it's going to be mainly like the next like couple days how she responds to having that mitt on she doesn't really like to be confined and she doesn't really like things that she doesn't like so I think overall that's going to be like our biggest challenge is uh, keeping that on her. But you can tell that she's kind of pale a little bit that you know that she just had it done so she's kind of a little pale. That's okay she eats. She had some water. She had almost a whole chicken sandwich and she didn't eat a lot, so she had that. So that was good. I didn't have anything on the chicken sandwich either because I didn't really want it to be like kind of a, you know, rich sandwich, sandwich with everything on it. I just wanted her and with us driving and with her only having one hand, um, that would have been hard for her to eat anyways. I've been trying. I've been trying to offer to help her and she still doesn't want me to help her, so I don't know. You're not gonna be able to get well, I'm still tired because we have to wake up early, but um 
we'll see how she is with getting dressed. Another problem is we're gonna have to probably put more t-shirts on her because I have a long sleeve shirt on her right now and it was kind of hard to get past that mitt. And I guess I should have been a little bit more smarter with that. But if I have to, she can probably wear maybe um, the bigger kids shirts for a little bit just so that she's comfortable with having different clothes on because if I'm not able to like get clothes on her or being able to get that mitt through, then that's gonna be kind of a problem. I gotta get the mail here quick. So, check the mail quick. We got, with this, with this being like last minute kind of a thing, um, I really wasn't like necessarily ready for it, but I'm glad we got it done. The only thing that's going to be sad is open up presents. So she's going to have to hopefully by then figure out how to use one hand. And then, um, um, we got like... Oh, we have so much other stuff going on right now with like Christmas and all of that. Even though we're not going to like go like a lot of places, we might go to a different church this month just because of Christmas service. So we're home. We're going to get Evelyn in. Everybody's going to be excited to see Evelyn, right? So I'm just going to end this video before I get in and it's going to be like wild and crazy inside. So hopefully you guys liked today's video and Evelyn's little update on her surgery and stuff, but I will give you another update after. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, right? We fixed your thumbs up. Yeah, now Evelyn will be able to give me a thumbs up. Yeah, say see you in the next one. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next one and I'll give you another update next time.